Greetings Petroheads, my name is the Tom here on my gaming channel and today I'm playing another episode of Automation the Car Company Tycoon game. And today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a challenge, if you wanna call it that. Donovan Chapman um, said I should do a car in 2015 that would kind of compare or compete with the uh, Master 3, but, uh, but he said it can be any body shell really and uh, what it should do though is it should make about the same amount of horsepower it, it should produce about the same amount of horsepower 184 and you know 8.1 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers of fuel usage and it should not cost much more than it which is 22,000 US dollars and for that reason I think I'm gonna be building a little bit of a smaller car here um, that's still a modern one last 10 years how much do we have oh it's, it's only these ones that we really have so the choice is this this or this I guess um, Let's go with one of these. Let's extend this little rear lip a little bit to make it to make it look a little bit more sporty. This looks terrible. Extend this further. Yeah. And then, more like that. We have a really big rear window, so it should be fairly easy to see out of the spite of the rear lip. And, let's see. Material cost average, very high. So let's go for corrosion resistant steel. I'm gonna make it transverse, which is something I usually don't do. Let's go for double wishbones front and rear. Theory cost average, average. Tooling cost very high, high. Let's go with corrosion resistance steel. I know this is gonna make it a little bit heavier. Uh, you know what, let's... Hmm. Production unit's very low. Average. Let's go with polymer. Because, you know, a Master 3 isn't a bad car by any means, but it's not the, the most prestigious car, if you will. Uh, so let's try and make this... Um, Make a grill here. Patch on top of that. And then I'm thinking we build some headlights. Should should be a pretty decent idea, isn't it? Let's start off with, with one of these. Alrighty then. Confirm that. Oh, can we even... I'm gonna clone this because I want the same angle for another fixture. So we're gonna start with one of these here and this on this side. And 
Wait, what? Oh, why did I... Huh? Okay. I don't know what just happened right there, but, you know... Whatever it is that happened, it happened. And it might happen again, I don't know. So let's do this here. Let's clone this. <clears throat> to cover these holes and then <clears throat> we are gonna put the headlights in oh no wait we are gonna need something like this as well There we go. This is gonna be our uh, headlight fixture, basically. I think we are probably probably better off getting it in there like this. this clone that this one be more like here and put some fixtures in this uh, light arrangement as well you know what I actually want to try this Doesn't really work as well as with these. So there goes the LED stripes, if you will. Then we're gonna put some lamps in here. Because the Master 3 is a pretty a pretty good looking car, I think. It, it looks, it really looks good. I like it. And therefore, you know, if, if this car is gonna be an alternative to the Master 3, it should also look, you know, adequate at least. It is obviously not gonna look um, in any way similar to the Master 3, especially since this is a four-door car and, uh, or a saloon, I should say, and the Master 3 is a hatchback. 
What, what is this grill? This is a pretty decent grill. Also, goes along nicely with this main grill of ours, I think. And therefore, I'm just gonna leave it there and put one of these around it. Oh no, no, no. Instead, um, what are we going to do instead? I think I want to do something like this. with the number plate being on top of that like so and then give this thing a little bit of a nicer touch when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the front bumper So let's put this in here like so. Clone it. And then get another one in. It goes like this. Actually, let's make it go all the way towards the number plate. And clone this. If we want to, we can also put some uh, fog lights on onto this bumper, which I actually think I want to. that yes okay so now let's put some indicators onto the side of this thing and then we're gonna get to rear end design actually no first we're gonna do we're gonna give it some door handles which I think we're gonna choose these now let's do it like this because all photo AMWs have this uh, this style of door handles, and for the rear end, I think, yeah, we're definitely going to start with some more of these. Um, Yeah, let's, uh, let's just start off like this. Mm -hmm.
Yes, okay. Um, these will go a little bit further. These will go less far than what they currently do. Also, we need them to be further down, I think. And then we're gonna extend them a little bit more. Copy them. them like actually no in in fact what we're gonna do is get a couple of these that are about this thick in like say here then clone these get them over here clone these also this uh, this shape is also inspired by you know modern BMW's taillights but can you really blame me I mean I can't be the only one who thinks that BMW's have some of the coolest uh, taillights in the recent years Also, Mazda have nice designs, although I'm not sure if I like them as much as BMWs. But that's just personal taste. I, I mean, it's it's not objective or anything like that. So let us try something now and that something in involves putting down some taillight fixtures. Actually, almost perfect already. Just make this a little bit thicker, and then we basically got it. And then, okay. Then in here, wait. Let me let me do it this way. There it goes, and now we can put one of th one of these number plate holders in here, one of these indents, and, uh, and I'm gonna put the badge on top of that. Oh, you know what? I can't really make this car look like an AMW and then make it front-wheel drive because there is no such thing as front-wheel drive in this company so you know now we're gonna give this thing some uh, some indicators how do we want them to look I think I got a basic idea 
Oh, now we got a little bit of a problem though. Maybe not. No, this is not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Now let me clone this. Thank you. Get that in here like so. again turn it a little bit then we get a small indicator array like here and then we also are going to do uh, wait is, is this gonna work it doesn't look too good already yeah well let's just do it with something else for example with Another one of these, but the chrome one and very thin. Let's just do this. All righty then. Um, good. Now for the diffuser, we're gonna keep it simple, I guess. Or are we? Yeah, probably. Just just one of these. Then some exhaust in there. No, not one of these. One of those. And then. A number plate right there all right good this is the exterior we are gonna make it river drive which is gonna affect our costs also how how wide are the wheel arches here excuse me Two twenty fives, two of fives. We need wider rear arches. We don't need wider. Excuse me. There we go. Two forty fives. Should do the job. now let's go to the engine tab uh, so the master 3 has a 2.5 liter inline 4 um, it's probably a good idea to also go with that configuration because um, because of the costs really but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a 2 liter turbo. 2 liter turbo is what I'm going to go for. Do it overhead cams, 5 hours per cylinder. Mm, yeah, cast will probably do. Max talk very low. No, I don't want that. Forged H beam. Forged. Yeah. Okay. Um. UVT on. Oh, this is getting too more uh, too too expensive if I do this. 
Uh, compression is probably going to be about here, 9.5. Let's give it VVT though. Turbocharger, which doesn't help with the cost, I admit. Get this back to a reasonable amount so that the turbo will spool relatively early. I have no idea how much boost this is. This is 0.8, I think, because 0.8 bars is the standard. Let's get it a little bit lower. Also, air to air will save us a little bit of cost and a little bit of weight, which is also good. Direct injection, and if I've obtained fuel, uh, 80 timing, 6300 RPM limit seems pretty reasonable, and then this is the way to go. Oh, we're making more power than we need. So let us tune down the cam profile. Twenty-five, maybe um, decrease the compressor size as well, which will actually give us more power. I don't fully understand why. I want the power to come in earlier, so we don't have to rev it out all the way. So the connection rods are reducing reliability. Let's go for these then. Okay, this this is a fairly solid basic engine. Or if we have to sell to 6600 and maybe increase this by one more point. 181. And there's only nine. Hundred and eighty three, hundred and eighty five. Let's let's leave it here. Yeah. So now let's give it a six speed manual gearbox. No, not go too crazy on the top speed. Two fifty is fine. If we can even get there. Five viscous LSD hard long hard long life road tires will make for the best economy. We have two two fives now, yeah, we do. Six thirties, sixteen inch rims, because we don't need two fancy uh, rims on this car. Uh, vented discs, four pistons front will be enough. Two pistons rear. Fully cleared under tray because we want this thing to be economical. Not very much cooling airflow. No, we can't afford the quality in here, I think. And four seats with standard in. Actually, he said it should have premium interior. Oh, and. Yeah, originally the point was it should also be very good in the winter, so yeah, maybe river drive is not the ideal option there. Let's make it all wheel drive. This is gonna make it way too expensive though. Premium, premium infotainment, all driver aids, standard safety. There's the springs, gas monotube tube and then Let's go with se semi-active here. Pretty normal setup. And this and it's too expensive. It is way 
way more economical than we need it to be though. Um, what do we do about this? Well, we can go ahead and make this from corrosion resistant steel. which doesn't help very much and it adds more than 200 kilograms of weight. I don't like that. Let's go back to the plastic. Mm -hmm. Let's see, the economy is way better. So is the acceleration. Mm. What could we do? Open the differential. Would save us a little bit of money. Would also cost us a lot of that acceleration. the automatic gearbox it's the same price but more production units um, these would shave off a little bit of cost but not very much so this guy would be about 25,000 US dollars I think which is 3,000 more than the Master 3, so it's like 3,000 bucks is kind of a lot in this price segment. So I should really consider downgrading a couple of things maybe. Uh, but where do we start on that? This will save some costs, obviously. Same for that. Still cost 12,100, but the production units are lower now. Maybe this would now be like 24,000. Semi clad. Would not do very much for us here. The engine is too long? Well, how, how, how was it working then? Okay, how much bore can we take? Seventy-nine point four. Let tell you what. Let's make it a one point eight liter. So then this is restricting the airflow. That is what the radiator. And the air medium one hundred sixty-one horsepower is not enough. And the 66 is still not enough. Let's try and... Hundred and seventy-five I think would be enough to really compare those those two cars. Also lost some weight and we lost a little bit of cost. But not very much. If we go for Yeah, we already tried that. Uh steel rims. Yeah they do save some costs.
now it's at 8.1 seconds, 0 to 100 comments an hour. So, uh, wait, what if, we, what if we do this? It would still be the same. Hmm. This does not have our cross, obviously. Um, decrease the arrow quality? That doesn't do very much. Now if we get rid of stability control, that would save us 10 bucks. Awesome. Uh, wait. Fifty or fifty, there we go. Now I don't think we need the differential anymore. So we can just do this. Now it would be about twenty-three thousand five hundred, which is not much more than the Master 3 anymore. Uh, Fifteen hundred bucks is still a difference, but um, you know all the options in this car would all be would already be in. I don't know if the Master 3 is a long options list. Probably nowhere near as much as German manufacturers. But overall, I, th I think the price is yeah, maybe still a little bit too high, but somewhat competitive. So I, I, I'm pretty happy with this now. Let's see what we got. 5.8 liters per 100 kilometers. 7.7 .7 seconds from 0 to 100. 175 horsepower, pretty much similar weight there. 52.5 durability, 29.2 spoiliness. A comfort of 41.5 is really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.